Hello there everybody, uh, Data Pioneer here from the Linux Unix Tech Channel and today um, I've got something I want to bring to your attention and it's an application that I use both in Linux and in Windows and so this is the tech portion of the Linux Unix Tech. I'm going to go ahead and preview this particular application uh, even though I'm in Windows right now, not in Linux or Unix. Um, and it's called Calibre. And Calibre is an EPUB management software application. Very nice uh, application. Uh, I have my entire uh, EPUB and PDF um, document library in um, uh, Calibre. And uh, it, I have about 257 uh, of these files already uh, accumulated. And it's stored on my main PC. Here's Calibre. Uh, it's a one-stop solution for all your ebook needs, and it definitely is that. It's an application that was developed by a, an individual by the name of uh, Covid Goyal. Uh, it's about 10 years old. I've used it in Linux uh, for a long time. Now I'm bringing it into Windows 10. And uh, so I wanted to show you uh, this and uh, get into that today. Um, and so uh, let me bring up a list of uh, of things here. Let me get rid of this and bring up uh, these two things. Here is the um, the features, if you will, of uh, Calibre. Um, easily installable, by the way, in Windows. E easily installable in Linux. What Calibre does for you is, one, it saves you time in managing your ebook collection. And like I said, I have like 257 ebooks right now. Uh, they're basically uh, short stories uh, that were sent to me by a friend, and uh, I use them all the time. Uh, I can open them up, and I'll get into that when I show you uh, the actual application itself. But it saves you time in managing, and you don't have to go looking around on your hard drive, um, even in a folder that you have. It, it not only just collects the ebooks, but it uh, categorizes them for you using metadata. And we'll, uh, we'll get into that a little more as I show you that uh, later on. Um, you can use it everywhere and with anything. Uh, you can um, uh, send your Calibre library to a friend either by email. You can generate the catalog of these. Um, and I have done that. Uh, you can share them on a server as well. So you can access them from the outside of your LAN. Uh, so Calibre is a great tool or management platform for that as well. In addition to being a EPUB management software package, it is also uh, a comprehensive ebook viewer. Uh, you can pull up your ebooks, uh, PDFs, or any other documents directly from within the platform, uh, and it makes it very easy to do that. You can download news and magazines from the web using Calibre. It's not just for your library collection, but you can actually access news and magazines from the web as well. Search for them. Um, you can share and back up your library easily, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, it makes it very easy to do that. In addition to being the management software uh, for your EPUBs, it also allows you to edit your books in your collection if you want to do that. I have one short story that I wrote uh, called the final exam and I was able to edit it directly from within Caliber and it allows you to edit your EPUB uh, by just opening the EPUB document itself and editing it directly without having to convert it uh, say to a Word document or an ODF file uh, so that makes it very convenient and I'll show you that feature and then last but not least uh, it satisfies every ebook need and you can get support from COVID uh, Goyal and uh, from the manual that's online for this particular uh, ebook management software platform called Calibre. And so if you want to join me, uh, we'll get into a little more in depth in the actual uh, application itself. And I'll uh, take you on a tour of Calibre, the EPUB management software for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm in Calibre now, uh, and this is the Calibre library that I mentioned to you. Uh, this is version 
4.3 uh, created by COVID Goyal. Now, I've got 258 books. I've got one selected right now, which is uh, 1919. But I'm going to go up and um, show you some of the things about this uh, application. First of all, uh, you can add books here uh, and you can add books from a single directory. You can add books from directories, including subdirectories. Uh, one book per directory. You can add books from directories including subdirectories. You can add multiple books. Uh, they can be in different formats. You can add empty books. Um, you can add books from an ISBN. So if you go up um, on the web and say to, to uh, Amazon or something like that and you have a, a book that uh, you've purchased and it's got an ISBN number assigned to it, uh, you can add the book directly into your library uh, from an ISBN number as well. You can add files to selected books and records. You can add files to selected books from the clipboard, and you can add an empty file to selected book records as well. And so this is the add book feature here. Um, you can edit metadata on a book. So let me go up and get my, uh, my book, which is the final exam. Let me search for it. And so here it is. And uh, so it's pulled up. This is the cover that I have for it. And I have a pen name, uh, Lloyd Byron. Um, and so if I want to edit the metadata on this book, all I have to do is collect, uh, select that, and it pulls up the metadata screen. And so from the metadata screen, you can see that the title here is the final exam. Um, it's sorted out as final exam, comma, the. Uh, that way, the when you sort it, you go to sort it in your library, it doesn't sort on the the word the it sorts on final exam, which is uh, the actual title of the book. The authors here, it, uh, it I have Lloyd Byron and Dan Calloway, that's me. And then when I click this button here, it sorts it out by last name first, uh, except for, um, should do that. Uh, let me see here. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, and then, um, You've got a series information here if you want to. Here, you can browse for cover. Uh, if you don't want the cover here, you can just click browse and go out and browse for a cover if you have a cover that you uh, have already downloaded from the web. Um, you can remove the cover here, or you can trim the borders on the cover. You can download a cover from the web if you want to do that. So it goes out on the web and looks for um, a particular book. Uh, either searching from Google or from Amazon, from other places, uh, and some bookstores online. Uh, if it finds a cover for it, it will bring it up to you or for you. Uh, in this case, uh, this book is not published uh, worldwide, and so um, it's a short story. And so it's not, uh, it has not been published uh, on the web, and so uh, it's not going to find anything. So let's go ahead and cancel that out. You can generate your own cover if you want to do that. Come down here, you can rate um, your book. So if you want to rate it from a one, two, three, four, I'm going to give my book a five star. Um, short story here, um, you can uh, put tags in. It's a short story and it's by Lloyd Byron. And so I uh, put those in as tags. Here's the date of the uh, publication. It's actually 2015, but I have it uh, as 8 November 2019 because that's when I added it to the library. It was published on September 2015, and it is in English. Okay. Over here is your comment section, so if you want to say, uh, this is my personal short story, okay, and uh, click OK. And so that adds that to the uh, metadata for the book itself. All right. If you come over here to uh, here, you can add, you can edit metadata individually. You can edit metadata in bulk. So if you have more than one uh, story here that you want to edit the metadata on simultaneously, you can do that by clicking that button. You can download metadata and covers. You can copy metadata, you can paste metadata, and merge book records if you want to do that. You can merge into the first selected book. Um, you, can, you can delete the others and then merge into first selected book and keep the others. Or you can merge only formats into 
first selected book and delete all others, okay? All right, so for convert books, uh, you can convert books individually or bulk convert or create a catalog of books in your Calibre library, which I've already done, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but if you select that button right there, you can convert books into different formats. And so if your book is in a PDF and you want to convert it to an EPUB, you can do that by just simply collect, uh, selecting the Convert Books button here. For View, you can uh, view you can view a specific format. You can view uh, with Calibre eBook Viewer. And so if I want to view this particular the final exam, I can just select that and it's going to bring up uh, the viewer itself here which is bringing up now it's loading the ebook viewer and here is my book uh, in EPUB uh, format okay so it is an EPUB format uh, over here is the arrow so it'll go to the next page and the next page etc etc so you can read the book directly from the ebook viewer if you want to do that alright so let me go ahead and close this and um, let me get into the next phase here uh, for viewing. You can view this particular book. Uh, you can view uh, the catalog itself. Uh, so if I select that, uh, it says that it was not found. I don't know why. We'll look at that in a moment. Um, and then uh, you can view other, there are other aspects here of things that you can do with the view. All right. You can get books, so you can search for ebooks. You can search for this author. You can search for this title. You can search for this book. You would need to have purchased the book in order to bring it into your library. Um, some stores that you can search books from directly is are these here. So for Amazon Kindle, for instance, if you want to select that, it will bring up Amazon.com. And, um, you know, like if you want to search for a book, um, let's say you want to search for, let's say this book down here, let's get digital, bring that up. And so it finds it here in uh, uh, your uh, Amazon.com uh, web selection here. And you can come back to uh, um, Calibre and bring that back up again. Let's bring that back up. And then you can get the book uh, using Calibre by selecting Get Books and click OK. And then um, you can go out on Calibre or Amazon Kindle uh, and find the book. If you want to search by, uh, by title, uh, for instance, if you want to search for a book, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's say a title for a book that you might want to look at is... Um, Huckleberry Finn. All right, and so you can search for it here by clicking the search button. And if it finds the book for you, here we are, Huckleberry Finn. It's in EPUB format from Project Gutenberg, uh, and so you can get the book for free that way. So the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, you can select it, and. Um, it is finding the book now. You can down, uh, can be downloaded by clicking that button right there. And uh, so that should be able to bring that up and it's, it's searching for it now from the Project Gutenberg. Okay, and so it found uh, the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn for us. And so if we select it here, it brings it up on the right hand side. Uh, and if you want to open it, you can um, either select the format EPUB or click to open. So if you can click to open, and it opens up your uh, library where it's located, and you can double click on it and open up the, uh, the book in the eBook viewer. Okay, so I, I'll bring that up for us. So now it's been added to my library, and uh, here is the cover for it. And uh, you can go into the ebook uh, from here as well. And, um, and so let's uh, go forward in the ebook. 
And so here now that it's opened up, um, you can see that you can go over to um, the Adventures of Puckleberry Finn, and you can get on the contents here. You can go to Chapter 1, and that brings up Chapter 1 here. Uh, you can hit the arrow, and you can start reading the book directly from within your Caliber library. So this is a very nice feature um, that you have to, you know, to store and manage your EPUBs and, uh, and read them directly from within the Caliber platform. So it's a very nice feature to have. Uh, and uh, I, I really like uh, Caliber for this purpose because uh, you know, it's, it's just a great thing to have for bringing in books from the web and storing your own book collection and, uh, and, and reading them. Okay, I'm back on the screen here and um, let's get into the final exam, my book. If I right click on the book itself, I can come down to edit book and that brings up an edit window, um, which is really nice because what I can do here, um, as you can see, you've got your file browser on the left hand side and you've got your HTML preview, um, XHTML actually, uh, in the middle where you do your editing and then off to the right hand side you have a file preview of your book. And so what I've done here is I have opened up the, uh, the EPUB directly. I haven't converted it to anything else. I've opened it directly. And uh, I can come down through here and I can um, edit the book directly from within this window. So then, for instance, if you look over here, it says Benjamin was excited about getting to the end of his course. Okay. Excited about getting to the, all right. Let's say if I wanted to take the word end out and put beginning just to show you what it'll do. Uh, what it does automatically here within a few seconds of editing in this window it comes up and shows you the preview over here. Benjamin was excited about getting to the beginning of his course. Okay, And so I'm going to change that back. And so this is a neat little editor end of his course. And so that changed that back now to the end of his course. Um, and, you know, there's a host of things that you can do here um, for your uh, paragraph headings, bold, italics, underline, just like a regular um, uh, word processor. Uh, and I'm not going to get into a lot of the detail here, but this just goes to show you the power that you have here in, uh, in Caliber. So I'm going to go ahead and close the edit window. All right, and let me just go ahead and quit without saving here. All right, so let me get it, go ahead and uh, undo the search here and get back into the uh, library itself. So let's pull up a, another uh, document here. Uh, here's one called All Will Be Well. Okay, and so if I click on that, here it is over here, and it tells me that uh, the author is... Uh, Vinyan Lee, uh, the tags on it are short story and the author itself. Uh, the format is PDF and if I click to open, it's going to open up the interface and I can right click and open this up in a PDF viewer. Okay. And so we'll take a look at that and here's the, the document itself opened up in Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Okay. And so I can read the document from within here, I can export the PDF out and do other things. That's not part of Caliber, but part of the PDF uh, application itself. But um, I can pull the document up from the library and work with it very easily. Okay, so let me go ahead and close this. Let's look at uh, another feature here of Caliber, fetching news. And if I down arrow here. I can schedule news downloads. I can add or edit a custom news source. I can download all scheduled news sources uh, directly here. And so if I select fetch news uh, by clicking this button here, it brings up a, a list of languages that I can get my news in. And so if I want to look at English, there are 430 news feeds that I can select from. Um, I can double click here and it will bring up a list of those feeds. I'm not going to import any into my library. 
because I don't read my news using this. So I have another application for that purpose. But I can select uh, any one of these news feeds, okay, and then save that, and it'll bring it into my library as well. So that's something you might want to look into. Um, you can get help here uh, online from the Caliber User Manual, um, and you've got various things that you can look at here. If you're not familiar with Caliber, you can um, look at the main Caliber user interface, adding your favorite news, your uh, website to Caliber, the Caliber eBook viewer, customizing the Caliber eBook, uh, you know, a whole host. You've got a bunch of tutorials that you can uh, look at here as well with videos that, that will help you uh, learn how to use Caliber better than, uh, than what, you know, otherwise would do otherwise. Let's get back to the library now. Uh, so that's the help feature. You can remove bo books from your library if you want to. You can remove the selected books. So if you select mo one or more books, you can hold the control key down and select another book as well. And, you know, for various books, you can go in here and you can remove the selected ones. You can remove files from a specific format if you want. Remove all formats from the selected books. Remove all formats from selected books or remove covers or remove matching books from the device as well. Okay, from the Caliber library uh, here, you can switch or create a new library. So you have a library, it's in a particular location. You can switch to another location or create another library. Uh, books different from what you have here. You can pick a random book. And so it just picked a random book for me, what went wrong, okay? and. Uh, you can export or import all caliber data. You can do library maintenance here uh, in caliber by either doing library metadata backup or checking your library or restoring a database very easily. You can save to disk. And so here I can save the entire library to disk. I can save to disk in a single directory. I can save only EPUB formatted books or single format to disk, whatever I want to do. Uh, I can connect and share my library out to other people by connecting to a folder or uh, starting content server. Um, I can start wireless device connection. I can email uh, my library to a particular individual. This is my brother here, pythoncodus at outlook.com. Or I can select a recipient here and bring up that window. I can put in that person's email address by adding a recipient here. Um, Let's specify an address. I didn't uh, specify one. And so here, if I specify one here, I can go click OK and do that as well. I'm not going to do that now. Um, here I can edit the book, and then here are my preferences. My preferences are for look and feel, for behavior. Uh, you can change the look and feel of your library. Um, you can change the cover grid, the book details, the tag browser, the cover browser. I mean, there is a, I, it would take me all day to go through all of this. Um, and so I'm not going to do that. I'm just showing you that you have this capability here within Calibre to do this. Um, the behavior of your library you can change. Your searching behavior you can change as well. For your interface, you can do conversion uh, tweaking here. For importing and exporting, you could change that as well. And uh, so there's a whole host of things that you can, uh, can do. You can run the Welcome Wizard. The Welcome Wizard is what you see when you initially install Caliber. I'll put a link out to uh, how to get Caliber, by the way, for the various uh, operating systems, either Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. I'll put that underneath the video as well. So let me go ahead and cancel that, get back into the library. It looks like I closed the library. Um, there, there it is. Okay, so the library is back up again. And so this has been a quick review of Caliber. Um, as I said, I can't show you everything that Caliber can do. I don't have time to do that. Uh, but I will um, turn that over to you to do, and you can install Caliber in your favorite operating system. You can bring it up. You can start adding books to your library, editing books, um, downloading uh, cover books, cover pages. Uh, and book covers for your books. It's a great little platform. I love Caliber. I've used it for years, as I mentioned, and uh, continue to use it. 
use it every day. And so this has been a review of Caliber. Um, and if you like this uh, particular video, if you thought it was helpful, go ahead and hit that uh, thumb up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and um, hit that bell off to the right hand side when you do so that you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And so this has been Caliber ebook platform for uh, ebooks, PDFs, other forms of documents. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.